beings from afar, from the astronaut's perspective. And I think that this picture is very interesting. We are on this planet for about 200,000, 150,000 to 200,000 years with our modern bodies and souls. We started here in Africa and then we populated the entire planet. And it took us the first 95% of our history. Um, it is, in a, I call it our first round of globalization. There was always a next valley untouched by other people. You could go there and find abundant wild food for gathering and hunting. So what we did the first 95% of our history was basically uh, moving, migrating, populating our planet. Until about 12,000 years ago, the party was over. What was bound to happen, happened more and more. What was bound to happen was that the next valley is already taken by other people. Why? Because the surface of our planet is not infinite. It's finite. So at some point, the moment had to come where the next valley was already taken. You call it circumscription in anthropology. Suddenly, there is a limitation of something. Suddenly, you feel land is not infinite. It's limited. Circumscription. So this started to happen about 12,000 years ago. It's a long discussion because it's the onset of the Neolithic revolution of agriculture. You can also explain it in, okay, if I cannot go to the next valley and I have to stay where I am, what do I do? I try to get more resources out of my um, where I am and I, uh, it's called the anthropology intensification. So I try to get more out of where I am. Agriculture is one way. What happened when agriculture came, when you uh, sow in spring and harvest in autumn, you are afraid of your neighbors that they take your land. It's not wild food that is abundant anymore. You get afraid, you get perhaps some defenses, the neighbor gets afraid, oh, they want to take our land. You have a race, of a, a, an arms race going. It's called in political science this security dilemma by fear. It's driven by fear. <coughs> this is what characterizes the, par the last 5% of our history. So for me, this is so in instructive because what we talk about here, I think, is part of, me of what we as human beings evolved as cultures prior to this, mar this turning point. I think whatever, you know, the Suzuki method, everything is somehow something that had its place, its origin here. And then came a very different situation of having to be afraid of being attacked. And um, it, it was a completely new, it became a completely new situation. This is the map of uh, Europe, uh, the 30 uh, years war, and you see it's very fragmented. Everybody afraid of everybody, everybody killing everybody. In this situation, here there was only one motto that was uh, valid and, and viable and feasible. If you want peace, prepare for war. This is security. This is weapons for security. In this context, hierarchical societies developed with a strong man at the top to be strong enough to stand up against the neighboring strong men. All the lower men were uh, uh, subordinate and women were pushed into the inside and subordinate. So the past 5% of our history is somehow hierarchical societies. Rihanna Eisler, uh, a researcher, calls it the dominator model of society. So here is one dominator society pitted in fear towards the other. And it is only since the Cold War ended that we have a new situation. In that situation, you are everybody who speaks about peace as non-violence and so is lacking, it's, it's, it's a traitor, he's lacking patriotism. In this context, you cannot talk about peace because then you, you betray your country or your nation or your community. So today, for the first time in our history of human beings, of our existence on this planet, we have this image. I think it's a rev revolutionary. Our forefathers, our founders of our religions, nobody, this is my alarm clock to say that my five minutes are over. So I talk a little bit longer than five minutes. Um, so this is, I think, a window of opportunity that is given to us to this 
this about perhaps 20 years, 30 years, this window will be open, perhaps a bit longer. There is a window of opportunity open just now to move from the dominator culture to a dialogue culture. And um, why is this window open? Because we can now see our, us from uh, the blue planet from afar. Our forefathers couldn't see that. And we have all the knowledge to now take care of us and our planet. And uh, this is the symbol of hierarchy. And this is the lying eight, the infinity symbol, the Möbius strip, the non-dualism symbol. It means that I am connected with you when you stand there. And uh, we are different, but we are together. So this is the future. And so we have the chance now. We have everything we need. It's a window of opportunity to move from here to here. And um, we can go from honor. Banas was an illustri illustration of an honor culture. We can go from there to a dignity culture. We can go from what in the Banas film, you, s you remember, the family expected Banas to respect her unequal dignity. She was unequal. And now we can move as a global society to respect for equal dignity, which is the core of human rights ideals. So I will end here. Because this is, I think, uh, 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 f an overview that helps me. The first 95% of our history, this is the time where our bodies and our souls evolved to be social, to keep ha hold hands. The first 95% of our history, we expanded on our planet horizontally. Then there came circumscription. Suddenly, it was finished. The sur surface of the planet is limited. And we, we, we were indirectly informed by that, you know, it was, we were stuck. So we adapted, as a human family, we adapted through learning domination. We learned how to dominate each other and our planet. Slavery was invented, altogether hierarchical societies, and the exploitation of the Earth. All that was invented. Like here, still, I know some some communities in Oregon, for example, who have a taboo, had a taboo against agriculture, against hurting the earth. So now we are here, okay? We have more circumscription. Circumscription is when suddenly we, we notice that something is limited. Now we notice clean air, clean water, uh, cl minerals, everything is limited. We are even stronger in this situation than we were 10, 12, uh, started to be 12,000 years ago. This is, of course, very roughly, and it's very disputed this year. So, because it started 12,000 years ago in Scandinavia, it was 3,000 years ago, so it's, a, it's a, a process. So what do we do now in this situation? As we hear, everybody rushing for the, squeezing out the last resources fracking, going to the Amazon, every you know, mining industry is extracting, building dams. What do, is that if we put it into, nu into a nutshell? It is the maximization of the adaptation we learned here, namely domination. Dominating each other and squeezing our social relationships and squeezing our, the, our earth. This is what we do. When we hear in the news that we need growth, economic growth, because we need jobs, this is the curve, it's exponential. And basically it's an impossible curve in, in a finite environment. So this is what we do now. When we, we hear talk about healthy growth, it's impossible. So uh, where, what we have to learn is to go in circles, in partnership rather than domination. This is what we have to learn. And this is the window of opportunity. We have the chance. We have everything. We have the possibility now to feel and to manifest that we are one single family of human beings on a tiny vulnerable planet. And we can do that. And at the moment, we are like Titanic going down. We can still turn it. We have still perhaps 20, 30 years, some people say 50 years. At the moment, we in the West, we are here in the, f in the fourth, first mm, luxury floor of Titanic. We are playing music. We are painting our cabins pink. We are uh, doing all kinds of nice things. And we take big, great care that the poor people who live down, down in the ship don't get up to us, don't come up. We make barriers, passports, whatever, visa regulation. Our dear Azad had big problems to come here. So we, we, we stop them. 
So we are all occupied with conflicts here, between and here, so we have conflicts here, and we don't see the big problem, namely that this ship goes down. So this is the, the situation we, where we are, and we have together now the, the everything it, it is required to, to be together in equal dignity, to manifest fraternité and liberté and égalité, to manifest unity in diversity, which can be done through subsidiarity. It's a, an important... Um, we, um, we have to highlight commun communal sharing. This is what we did here. We have to be very careful with the second way of how people can interact authority ranking. It can be good, it can be bad. With equality matching, and we have to be particularly careful with market pricing. If we get, give priority to market pricing, then we will sell our grandmother. And we will... So I have different uh, ways of showing this, and I uh, suggest to be somehow to transcend the words we have here, communism, North Korea, here, capitalism, this is uh, Brazil, here the, the rich, here the poor. You see big gaps in all systems. Why not take dignity as a starting word? Dignityism instead of capitalism, communism. Unity in diversity. So dignism, what it means, everybody who is born can unfold their potential. And uh, I wanted to show, I will jo jump over this, you know, our uh, friends in Brazil who have uh, uh, sent us uh, their contributions. They wanted to be here in the Amazon in Brazil. These uh, rivers are now being becoming toxic and this community tries to resist through art. It's uh, the frontier of the, uh, of the um, industrialization of the Amazon and it's all double speak, you see, it's all depicted as something good, but it's destructive. So this I wanted to show you. I will send you my books if you want to them, if you write to me, and I <coughs> thank you. <laughs> so if we now want to round up, I, I, I would suggest that everybody says one sentence. What did you take from this, uh, this gathering, this coming together? Perhaps mm, that, we, uh, that we sit together, nobody sits in in a second row that we are really making a circle that everybody is... Now we can uh, switch this off, I think. Um, nobody is... And uh, 